What house are you? I'm Gryffindor. Glad to see some of the art still on the wall, but all the other ones fell down. Oh no! No, I'm just kidding. Everything's still on the wall, looking good. Happy with that. Everybody, welcome back. Jordan here. Today, we're going to be doing lots of different stuff. We're going to go to the Lego store. We're going to check out the pad wall. We're going to fix the Lego City platform. So I'm going to be tearing apart the whole Lego City today. <laughs> Not tearing it apart, but like I'm just gonna have to extract all the modular buildings and stuff like that so that we can extract this platform. Because if you didn't see my video the other day, this large mega long platform that's I think 15 inches, I was saying 10 inches the other day, but it's actually 15 by 200 inches long. It's just too big, uh, it's too hard to move, it is <laughs> warping on the end because the two by sixes that I use are bowing upward, I think. And it's just not perfect. So, live and learn. Today I'm going to be uh, taking apart this platform and we're going to be building a new platform. And we're also going to hit the road. We're going to do a Lego store. We're going to check out the pad wall. Can't wait to fix that. That's that's not good. That's not happening up in this house. We got to fix that up. Uh, also, uh, work on a few other things. So, first thing we got to do is uh, take care of some stuff around the house and then head on up to the Lego store. Okay, so we went to the Lego store for some basic pab. That's like pick and build or pick a brick, you know, ball pieces. We ended up getting way more than we anticipated. I'll show you what we got in one moment here. We also got our two by two pieces of wood, which are gonna be our new table legs. And now we're at Walmart. That would be an absolute blast to play outside. Wow. I mean, we already have the ladder ball, but the cornhole would be incredible. Look, I found the perfect outfit for all the Flames fans. <laughs> of course, they're sold out of all the Oilers gear. There's just all these random teams. Ah, oh, man, I wanted to get some Oilers like hoodies and stuff like that. Look at these like new age t-shirt hoodies though. We got Deadpool and then uh, Grogu. This would actually be a really cool shirt if it wasn't like a muscle shirt. I'd be, I would get that, like hands down, that's so neat. Same with this Spider-Man one, because I like literally have no Marvel t-shirts. I don't know, what do we think of that one? I, I just think it might be a little bit too much, you know? Like, just a little bit too much. And this one's just like, I don't know, I'm just not really digging it for some reason. And not to be picky, but this one's just a little bit too basic for me. Okay, I really dig that, because I don't have like a DC shirt either, but that one's a large, and that's the only one they have. I also really like this Mando shirt, but I have like an abundance of Star Wars shirts. It's crazy. We were here uh, at this Walmart not too long ago, and we were looking at Lego, and honestly, like, not much has changed. It's all pretty much the same. Nothing really has gone on sale. They've got some newer stuff, like the Buzz Lightyear sets and stuff like that. There's also some cool Buzz Lightyear shirts over there. Just, uh, I don't know, nothing that really spoke to me, right? And then we got some other stuff, like we got like the Tumblr and the Batman, Batmobile. You know what set I think is going to do well over time? It is actually the 1966 Batmobile. I think when that one is like retired, it's going to do really well. I don't recall seeing it at the Lego store earlier today, um, but I don't see them here either. Also, I think like maybe like Venom and Carnage, I think they're about to go and they're going to do really well over time, I believe as well. Uh, however, they're all at regular price right now at uh, this Walmart. And there's like literally no rollback deals. Like I can't believe it. Like absolutely nothing. I wish I lived in the US where they have Target because apparently at Target, there's just a whole bunch of deals right now. But nothing here at this uh, particular Walmart, unfortunately. But uh, you know what, Jose had to come get some frames and stuff. That's why we're at Walmart. Didn't come here specifically to uh, look at Lego, but she had to get some frames for the nursery because we're getting these really cool pictures printed at Costco. And then we're gonna get the frames here at Walmart. So I figured I may as well come check out the t-shirts, look for some Oilers gear, maybe some uh, superhero gear or something like that. Uh, spruce up the wardrobe a bit and uh, have a look at the Lego aisle while we're at it. So we came here to get picture frames and uh, shirts and stuff like that. We struck out on all of it. But boy, oh boy, would these not be comfortable on the deck? This. The Unreal. Lounge in the sun. <laughs> that was funny. We were on the way out of Walmart. 
and uh, the greeter at the door was like, don't forget your crying towel for tonight. I'm like, what? Because <laughs> he's a Flames fan. Woo! It's game one, Battle of Alberta tonight. Oh my gosh. So today is Wednesday. I know you're watching this at a future date, but I hope the Oilers win. All right, let's get home and let's fix the tables. I know I was like all worried about it the other day. I can't remember if I said this, but... It's actually gonna be so much better with the new layout. I'm super excited to uh, create that today. Okay, moving modulars for the uh, 100th time there. We've got the first half of the platform all cleared, ready for deconstruction and extraction. Well, I gotta say that this is actually going a lot smoother than I thought it would. I've got the first one out and deconstructed, just gotta haul it to the garage now. Okay, it's all gone. Yeah. Not bad. Didn't take that long, actually. These are the pieces of malamine right here that topped our 2x6 frame, right? With the Adil's leg. So we're going to still use these, but we're just going to use that wood that I bought, the 2x2 two two wood, and we're going to cut four legs per. And you can see I actually already have my countersinked holes right there, and uh, that's where our legs are going to go. So each one of those is going to get four legs. And then the benefit of this is each platform is going to be 40 inches so we can adjust it a little easier. And also we could have different heights if we really wanted to. All right, we got our first four legs cut. Let's go test the first platform. Big shout out to the wife for getting me this sick saw for Christmas. All right, I'd say that little one there is looking pretty good. A bit low maybe. A bit low. I don't think that matters though, actually. Thinking about that a little further, it might actually be a good thing. Okay, I would say that looks pretty level to me, and yeah, I mean, that's pretty much perfect. I'm pretty happy with that, so I think that's the measurement. And now that I've built one of them, uh, why don't we place that in the LEGO City and just sort of test it and make sure it's good. I think I just got a little bit too fancy with the other one, and it was just a little bit too big. This thing is a lot easier to carry around, insert the LEGO City move around, maybe even, you know, adjust the table legs. Like if I needed to cut new ones just for a certain section, it'd be a lot easier just to move four modular buildings and haul that thing out of there. So like the fact that it's smaller is just awesome. Now I know there's no middle support. For example, I used to have those two two by sixes running the full length. That was just pretty much overkill. This is pretty thick malamine here. It's three quarters of an inch. So it is pretty strong. In fact, it is the malamine that we used to use for the scenes underneath the table. And one thing we could do if we're worried about the center bowing is actually put two more legs in the center. But honestly, I don't think we have to worry about that. But worst case scenario, we could put two more legs in the center. So I'm pretty happy with the test fit here. I think it's working pretty good. There is that little tiny bit of a gap there. So maybe my leg actually needs to be a touch shorter if that's the case. So maybe I'll bring that saw blade a microscopic <laughs> increment to, uh, to a shorter length, I guess, because if this were shorter, then this modular building would be a little tiny bit shorter, right? So my next legs, I'm gonna cut, like I marked my marking, and you know how the miter saw like takes off a little bit? I went slightly to the right of it, so it was that exact marking, 8.75 inches. But I'm just gonna make it a little tiny bit shorter for the next ones. That I'm, I'm really not too worried about. You're not gonna be able to see that. And I think when I get all my platforms placed, I'm gonna have to conjoin them probably with a tile on the sidewalk over here and maybe with a tile on the railing here just so they're all conjoined so that it eliminates those gaps there but also once I get all of the modules pressed up together it should eliminate those gaps as well I do have to rethink my Ninjago temple platform I think what I'm actually going to do is make it so it's on the platform so it's supported by the platform because you can see there's a larger gap here than there should be that's because the table leg underneath Right there, you can't see it because my camera's not focusing. Right there, there it is. It's actually pressed up against the uh, base plate, so I've got to change up that a little bit as well. But I think I'm going to make my other platforms 
just marginally shorter because that should fix the problem. I just inserted the last platform. I've been leveling them off like when there's imperfections like this here, just with some shims. So at this particular point in time, I'm at the stage where I literally can't do anything without like absolutely destroying everything. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm moving around the Lego city, I'm bumping over this, I'm bumping over the university, I'm knocking over this building, I'm backing my elbow into this tree. Oh. Oh, it's just at the stage where I'm like, oh, I just want this to be over with. I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm really struggling with the concept of the raised platform. Not really from a Lego perspective, but just from like the overall construction perspective of it, because getting it the exact dimension is rather difficult. Like the exact height that you need it to be at. Uh, maybe I'm doing it wrong, but I find it very difficult to get everything to line up perfectly. Obviously, you could build a platform using bricks and plates, but I have all the bricks you need. I just don't have all the plates you need. Like I would need a ton of 16 by 16 plates to make this a Lego built platform, but I'm really struggling with uh, the platform. <laughs> that much is obvious, but I'm ready to uh, persevere with this idea. I know it's going to be a challenge, but I think there's great potential for it uh, with just a really cool layout, really. Yeah, so it's looking pretty good, though. Pretty much everything is back in place. I forgot. I didn't even tell you what I got from the Lego store. It's a pretty big haul. It's, uh, ooh, it's too big. Uh, there's too much good, too many good deals at the Lego store today. Uh, and they're starting to get tab shipments back regularly but they weren't there today like they were supposed to and jose had to go buy some clothes from like old navy or something like that and uh left me at the lego store and let me tell you that was dangerous that's an expensive place to be waiting for somebody you know <laughs> i just kept browsing around Ooh, ooh, another piece of candy Ooh, another piece of candy all right let's check out the uh, lego hall Okay, I had a hard time saying no to this right here. This was on Damaged Box Special, so this retails for 450 Canadian dollars. Ouch! I know, that's a lot of money. Look at all the cool minifigures it comes with though, right? Like, those are awesome minifigures. I guarantee that when this LEGO Star Wars Master Builder Series set retires, it's going to do extremely well. I know that for a fact, and it's been out for a while now, actually. Since 2020, I think. I built this one in the garage, right? So it's been out for quite some time. So this one is $449.99. There's the price tag. And you got 5,000 additional VIP points, which equates to $50. Plus, I got my VIP points, which is another $22.50. So I got $72.50 worth of VIP points. And then I also got two promos. So you got this one here. This one came for free right now when you spent 200 bucks. Now uh, here in Canada, 203 pieces in that one there. That's the Cardboard Adventure. And then we've got this one here, which is the Children's Amusement Park. You get that one for free when you spend 100 bucks. So we got $72.50 in cash back and two promos. Couldn't say no. This one's going to go into my investment hoard. But wait, there's more. I also managed to find a retired crocodile locomotive that was 30% off. Could not say no to that. We got our two additional minifigures that we need from our Muppet series, so we have them all. Animal was pretty easy to find. You had the big circular brick and also those tiles. Very easy to find that one. And also we got Rolf as well. Two head pieces in that one there, plus the laptop piece, plus that Shakespeare-style bust thing there. Pretty easy to find those two. In addition to that, I was like, all right, we just hung all of that art. I've got to get me at least one Batman art to say I did. So we got the Batman art. Wasn't on special or anything, but I mean, I got 30% off that, which is pretty awesome. And I got another one of these promos right here for spending uh, over $100 and another one of these promos for spending over $200. So yeah, that was a pretty good haul as well. And wait, there's more. I mentioned when we were at Walmart that I thought the Venom was a good set to potentially have one put away. So I decided to get two of those because they were 30% off. 30% off Lego Marvel Venom. I think this thing is awesome. Comes with the print piece. You really can't go wrong. It's just like the Lego Star Wars helmets, in particular the AT, sorry, the TIE Fighter Pilot. Like 
it's just done really well. And obviously with that purchase, I got one more of those. So yeah, that's not bad. That is our ridiculous haul. I should not have went to the Lego store today, but I went there for PAB. And this is what I left with. Absolutely ridiculous. But most of it is investment and it's just sort of part of my company really. Pretty crazy though. It's already becoming that time where it is the Oilers game starting at 7.30. I've been doing this all day and that all day. It has taken all day. I'm going to finish this project here, just cleaning up around here, fixing things up a little bit uh, tomorrow because I want to go watch some hockey and I'm super hyped. Battle of Alberta, it's going to be awesome. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that was an insane hockey game. <sighs> but we lost. The score was 6-9 and it is the next day and the art is still on the wall. Day two of it still being on the wall. But uh, let's take off where we left off here today and all this stuff in the way. Uh, so this is what we've got going on so far with the uh, platform here in the Lego City. Everything's looking pretty good, you know, like most of the modular buildings are back in spot, which is good. Uh, the platform is leveled off and you know what, I'm really happy with the smaller platform. The old one actually had, it's not smaller, sorry, it's the same size, but... The old one actually had that uh, 2x6 underneath it, so it looked a bit bulkier. So you actually get a better vision when you're under there now. So that's good. Uh, you can see we've got a retailer this right here to this because I actually moved the platform over. So now it's pretty close to Ninjago City, but we've got some space over there so we can probably move Ninjago City over 16 studs. And then I've got to retailer this here so that this tunnel is there and the cliff edge curves around there. You can see it's actually larger now. So I've got to rebuild that to better accommodate uh, the new position of the platform. Also, I put this up here. You can see the temple's way up top there. I think that's pretty cool. I might build a mountain for right there on this edge of the platform. I think that'd be pretty sweet. And then you put the temple way up high. I think that looks pretty neat, but this used to be like free floating. That's why it has all of these supports, right? And it used to be down on the ground level, I should say. And it, um, you know, was free floating, but now I think it's going to be free floating still, but way up here on the platform. So I'm gonna have to rework that rock work there and also rework this tunnel entrance as well. So everything's pretty much back in spot, like all the modular buildings are back where they belong. And the gaps are pretty smooth, you know, like pretty smooth. And what I really like about this is, you know, we can pull out a 40 inch platform now and maybe raise it up or maybe we can put it low. Well, we wouldn't put it lower, but maybe we can, you know, cut new legs and make one higher or something like that. It really doesn't take me long to cut those legs and I've got a whole extra two by two piece of wood in the garage. So if I want to raise something up, for example, this platform over here that has nothing on it by the amusement park, if we wanted to raise this one up and make it higher or something, we could do that. Maybe there's a whole nother level. I don't know. I'm just, you know, shooting ideas out there, but there's just so much more uh, ability or options that we can do here to customize these platforms because they're so much smaller now. So it's easy just to pull one section out and fix it up. So I think that's pretty cool. However, because we slid the platform over there by those cliff edges, brought it over, what, hmm, one base plate, I think? You'll see there's a gap right there that's no longer filled in. So I'm going to have to decide what we're going to do in this corner here. I'm still thinking maybe skyscrapers or something like that. But there's also been rumored a new roller coaster coming out too. So I don't know what we're going to do for space there, right? Like, how am I going to fit a roller coaster here into the amusement park if if there's a new roller coaster coming out? I mean, that's what the rumor is. I don't know if it's true, but if there is, I don't know how I'm going to fit it here, right? And that's going to be interesting. Maybe it's going to be up on this platform. Maybe I bring this platform over and maybe there's like, I don't know, maybe there's a gap here between these platforms and we fill it in with like rocks. I don't know what the heck we're going to do. It's going to be a, a bunch of trial and error. And I think that's what's really cool about this new Lego City layout is there's just so much opportunity for customization. You know what I mean? Like we can raise platforms, we can lower platforms, we can, you know, have gaps between the platforms and maybe have like, I, I don't know, I'm just shooting ideas. Maybe there's a, a gap between this platform, right? 
and then it's all worked in with rocks and there's a waterfall coming down and a river running through or something. Who knows? You know, like there's just so much that we could do with these platforms that are uh, smaller, right? It's not 200 inches. It is five platforms that are 40 inches to make up the 200 inches. So it's just an interesting concept now and I've got a lot to think about and I'm really excited to, you know, continue developing this idea. I think the first thing that I've got to do is tailor, retailor these modules. So obviously I've got lots to think about and I'm not exactly 100% sure what we're going to do. <laughs> so I'm not going to continue in this video because I don't know what to do. <laughs> so I got, I got to think about it. I got to think about what we're going to do there. Are we going to build a mountain? What What's going to go on, right? Obviously lots to think about. Lots going on, huge haul today, yesterday, and changed out the entire platform. Didn't take nearly as long as I thought it would, and the new system I think works fantastic, which I'm happy about. So good things are happening, and I uh, can't wait to progress with the new layout. Everybody, thank you so much for popping on by. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned. Farewell!